In this video, I'm going to give you one of the best passing concepts in Madden, and I'm going to simplify it for you, show you how to do it out of pretty much any formation that you want to do it out of, and explain why it will always be one of the best passing concepts in Madden. Today, we're going to be talking about an air raid concept known as the shallow cross concept, and in Madden, there are multiple ways to run this concept. You have the ability in this game to be able to change the depths of all of this. Now, I created a free ebook for the community teaching the five cornerstone or pillars of passing concepts in Madden. Any competitive offense that you take a look at out of any uh, out of any year of Madden will have some variation of these five cornerstone concepts. So if you want to get that ebook completely for free, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. It covers those in detail and really helps to cover why those concepts are so effective. Now, today we're going to be talking about one of them, and that is, like I said, the shallow cross concept. This is also known as the slant post concept in the uh, Madden community. So uh, real quick, I'm just gonna jump over here to the concept menu. If you go into the medium pass, you're gonna notice that this right here says shallow cross. Now, um, if we just take a look here, you're gonna notice that this is the core or the crux of the concept. And essentially what it is, is it's a shallow cross route and a dig route that are coming from opposite directions. Another way that you could explain this is this is some type of high low in the middle of the field where these routes are going to cross and one of them is gonna run one direction and the other one's gonna run the other direction and it's going to create a significant amount of separation. Now, I'm gonna show you this specific concept today from uh, several different formations in the Lions playbook. I've got a whole ebook on this in my Patreon. Um, you can join the Patreon by clicking the link in the description. But uh, mesh post, here's what it is. So basically the idea, if you think about it in a shallow crossing uh, situation, would be something like this. So if you take a look here, you're gonna notice that I have this post route to the right side of the screen receiver here. And then I also have the shallow cross route. Now this dig route can be a 10 yard in route, for example, it can be a slot apprentice post, it could be a slot apprentice crosser, crosser, it could come from you know different players, okay? But the bottom line is the, the two the, the two key routes are the really the key uh, to running this. So again, mesh post, all you're gonna do is streak this right side slot receiver just to create another vertical uh, threat. And what you're gonna see is the shallow cross is going to be really effective. Typically what's going to happen is they're gonna to have to use one of those routes. They're probably gonna to have to use both of them. Another way to run this, um, if you were running it out of mesh post, would be to run it just like this right here. Then we're gonna utilize a motion slant that's going to create our slant and our post route. And then you're gonna be able to hit one of those two routes, uh, specifically against man coverage. Now again, like I said, there's a lot of ways to run this. So. Um, Another one of my favorites that I actually think is super underrated, not a lot of people use this, uh, they run it this way. So basically this is a little bit of a hot route master setup, but essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize our tight end on uh, the, 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 the shallow cross, and then we're going to utilize Cromartie on this motion over slot apprentice post. Now you could, if you wanted to slant the tight end for sure. Um, and I wanna go into that in just a second here, but what you're gonna see is, this is a really good concept for attacking man coverage. Generally in man coverage, you wanna run against man and you wanna sit in zone. And also, if you think about it, where do the routes get open? Well, the routes get open in the middle of the field, uh, which is really, really helpful for attacking certain defenses that you might see. So for example, we're gonna have two vertical routes and then we're gonna have our slant post. So what you'll see here, if you look at this, is they get open, look where they're thrown. They're thrown between the numbers and the hash marks typically, okay? Now, uh, I did wanna get into this real quick. So the general, I'm gonna just jump in, out of this formation, get into another one, um, just to show you different looks here. But another thing that you can do with this, so like let's say um, you're, maybe you're, maybe you're someone that's looking to try to run some off meta stuff. So, you know, let's just go into this doubles here. We can teach out of this as well. Um, so let's say, for example, that you want to run this concept. What you want from your two outside routes, typically, is you want them to be vertical routes. So a great example would be this Y cross. All we're going to do is we're going to put Cromartie on a drag route, and then we're going to put Barry on either a streak, a curl. He can also be on a smart route of dig. He could be on a comeback, whatever we want to do. Okay. Um, and so this is this is what you see. Now, another way to do the basically the same thing, 
would be to do it like this right here. I have two vertical routes on the outside that are going to pull not only, they're not only going to pull the defense horizontally, they're also going to stretch the coverage vertically. And then you have your, you've opened up the middle of the field to now have a lot of space for your shallow cross. Now, the other thing about the shallow cross I didn't want to get into is you can change the depths of the routes and that is significant. So for example, let me just show you. Uh, so let's say for example, that they're trying to stop your shallow cross concept. And the best way to do that is to put two hard flats on the outside here and then to basically use her in the middle of the field. So if you think about it, if I run this specific concept we just showed you, guess where the tight end is gonna run himself into coverage? He's gonna run himself into the flat zone and now the user is free to go back to guard that that, uh, that post route right there. So let me show you uh, real quick. So if you just think about it, I'm gonna just, he's gonna basically play like a mid read and essentially what you'll see is you know, yes, the drag is covered, but the user's there, and you see that that can be very muddy and not a great read, not a great progression, okay? Now, the beauty of this and the beauty of kind of taking this concept and elaborating on it is we know that two hard flats will stop a drag route, okay? But guess what they won't stop? They won't stop a slant, okay? So, for example, let's say that we wanted to run that. So, let's just say we did the play um, basically like this. So now we have um, a C route on the right, and then we have a we have a, a a post over the middle from the tight end, and then we have a slant. This this could also this could also be like a running back table route, but just something you don't even have to have this. But literally, let's, we'll just block the running back. Okay, so just like this right here, very simple. Now we've all we've done is it's the same route combination. We just changed the depths of the routes and where they were coming from, and now what you're going to see is these hard flat defenders can't defend the slant route, okay? That's an example of changing the depths of which the route is run. Another great example, if you think about it, a lot of people like to try to, you know, maybe put like a cloud flat over here uh, to take away the tight end route, okay? Um, so what can we do, to, what, what can we do to counter that, right? So one of the things we can do to counter a cloud flat is we can take our tight end and we can run him on a tight end apprentice pro post to the wide side of the field. So now we can kind of combine the two concepts. Again, on the right, you can do whatever you want with that right side receiver. I really like just a simple, you know, deep fade. And then on the back side here, do something like this. Um, but basically what you'll see here with this cloud flat is, and of course, Cromartie got all jacked up, but you know, basically what you'll see here is if they use her the slant, okay, right? They have to use her the slant. We can throw that and then we can kind of ag back to the ball, but you did see like the, the guy got back there, okay? So how can we counter a cloud flat? Glad that you asked. So if they are truly cloud flatting to stop the route, then what we can do is, again, just utilize different people on different routes. So what we can do is we can take Cromartie and put him on the crosser. So notice this is gonna go significantly deeper and then I can streak this guy as a clear out. And then with a tight end, I can't put him on a slant, but I can put him on a five yard in route, okay? And then on the left side, that allows us to now take this and put a C route out here, which is really good against cloud flats. Okay, so we see how this play runs. Kind of ignore that random guy that jumped on him but as you can see the crosser gets open why right? just simply changing the depths of the slant post can make it better and can make it a very versatile passing concept let me give you one last concept um, that you can kind of trick this with you can also bring the uh you can also have the players run um you can also have the players run their routes from different sp uh, spots so for example um you know let's say you're getting like a coverage defense this is pretty common um, you know, some type of double flat here on the bunch side, we got a cloud and we want to run shallow cross. Okay. So how will we do that? Well, um, again, you can kind of do this however you want to, uh, but we know that we have this, uh, really nice little crossing route to Carmichael. But one of the other things that you can do is you could do something like, let's say we utilize the play. I don't know where it's at, but like tight end corner inside switch. Where basically we have the tight end on a corner route and then we're going to have um you could even streak the tight end okay that's fine as well and then we're going to have carmichael on that post and then we're going to utilize this corner route kind of isolate that in case they are running some man to man and then we're just going to motion this guy across and put him on a drag route so you see this is kind of what the player looks like okay so now we have multiple routes that are going to stretch those zones over the middle 
And then as you can see, we can dump it down to our shallow cross because the user now is again, pinned in the middle of the field. It's the whole purpose um, of the play. Another cool piece of this is you could even mix this up with something like uh, something like this right here, uh, which I think is pretty good setup. So you could do something like a little slant. You have um, this corner route can be a flat, and then you just run the play like this. This is another great addition of slant post because that slant now comes underneath. And then also if you look at the late throw, you see how it's way over there, about 15, 20 yards back. So this is how to run the slant post concept. The shallow cross concept is what I've also called it. Again, you can also do, I mean, there's so much you can do. Like, let's say for example, I mean, you could do this. So X spot, you have this corner route right here, and then you're gonna have the tight end on a tight end apprentice post. Now you might wanna put this guy on a, on a streak if you want to, you can do that as well. Um, but you can do this. And then the beauty of this is now you can run this guy on a shell cross. And then maybe you even take the running back and wheel him out of the backfield. So now the play art looks like this pretty interesting little concept. And this is how you create um, concepts in Madden, how you create your own route combos is really they're all going to be centered around these five key uh, foundational concepts, but then you can expand on those and tailor them to fit whatever formation you're running, whether it's ace, whether it's twins, whether it's doubles halfback week. I mean, you can literally run this out of anything. Like if I wanted to do, if I wanted to have some fun, we could jump down in here into, you know, single back wing slot, for example, pick any play in the formation and you can create a shallow cross concept again all it takes to create it is you know an in route right so like something like this so we've got a lot of different variations here so one of the things that we can do is we're just going to smart route Eric Berry's route okay then we can C route Carmichael that's going to give us a man-to-man -man read and then another cool thing that we can do is we'll block our running back for protection we're going to streak Grinkowski so that he can clear out any space and then with Walker we're just going to put him on an in route or a drag route and this is the basically the same basic concept right this is the shallow cross concept which is an absolute killer um, against man-to-man -man coverage obviously got a free form that inside but you see the idea and you can expand on this regardless of the formation that you're running so you know I mean like I said I could talk about this for hours but literally like this is a great version of it right here like this this is really really good because this this is still technically a vertical route this curl route he's still going to do a really good job of pulling the holding the deep blue zones and then now you're going to bring a drag route underneath it that beats man-to-man -man coverage and then you also have this tight end post which is really really hard to guard so this is the whole idea of the shallow cross uh series i think it has to, it's a must have in your offense i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you want to learn these concepts make sure that you get that free ebook it's going to be linked down in the description completely for free we'll send it to your email and uh, get you guys uh, kind of in the lab on how you can create your own passing concepts in madden thanks for watching head down to the description go get the ebook completely for free